What's up, YouTube? We're back. It's your boy, Mad Stacker, and we're here for another Saturday morning premiere train. Hey guys, welcome back. It's time for the February stack update. Thank y'all so much for joining in an hour early on this premiere train. If for some reason your favorite YouTube video content creator was not in their live premiere today, please forgive us. The schedule change has not been suitable for everyone. But the reason we did move up early is because the St. Jude auction is taking place today. I'm pretty sure that it's taking place over on Miss Ida's channel. So go over there and definitely show some love and big support for that. This community does some amazing things when it comes to uh, supporting St. Jude and Wounded Warriors and some other things like that. So big love out to Miss Ida and all she does and everybody that supports that great cause. So before I get started, make sure to like, subscribe, hit the follow button, all those things, and show a little love in the chat or a comment down below. I'm here to give you an update on my February stack, show you all the things that I'm adding this month. But first and foremost, I have to open one of those things still, and that is gonna be from my good friend, Second Chance Stacks. You guys know and love her. She actually just streamed with me on Friday night. Oh my goodness. I didn't even realize I got this. My wife loves Pokemon. My grandson loves Pokemon. Oh, I guess I can give one to, ooh, but there's two different guys on them. So I don't know if I can do that. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. These are fabulous. I don't understand them because they say they're six nines fine gold, but if I weighed them and they were pure gold, they'd be worth a lot. So still haven't had anybody completely explain that to me yet, but. One day, maybe, I will get it. One day, maybe. All right, we got... That's pretty cool. One Michael Jordan sticker, but a guy with a wrench. That's pretty dope. Second Chance always has the fly stickers. Always, always. I love that she does these envelopes because I get to reuse those too. And these little cards because I get to reuse those too. Always, always fun. All right. Oh, this is my koi fish. Super stoked about this. All right, let's look at this. Y'all, look at that. It's got a dragon and a koi fish. And it's freaking gorgeous. I don't know if this is part of a series. I don't know what the mintage is. It's 2022 out of Australia. Uh, no, it's 2023 out of Australia. Uh, but it is commemorating the queen from 1952 to 2022. The 70 years that she reigned. Look at this. Y'all, this is fire. All right, let me see. Where are we at next? Do you follow me this close? Yes, I do. 100% without a doubt, I do. And that's that badass second chance stacks sticker with that fierce dragon right there. That's some Game of Thrones stuff right there for you. So in February, I added a little bit more than I did in January. So let's let's check it out. Starting off with this monster. I added this 10 ounce bar. There's a young man uh, here in Texas. I won't give you his name because again, uh, if, he, if they're not a content creator, I don't share their names without permission. But I had a 10 ounce Texas pour from MK Bars, a five ounce Texas pour from MK Bars. And he offered, I don't do trades because I feel like trades are just like, uh, they just benefit the, the, the mailman, right? But uh, he gave me an offer I couldn't refuse. He said, I'll send you a 10 ounce bar for that five ounce Texas MK Bars pour. And I said, yes. And this is even more beautiful than I expected. So heck yeah on that. I picked up a, uh, a couple ASCs off of Discord. Y'all know I don't typically go out of my way to pick up ASEs, um, but when you can get them for less than $22 a piece ship, you don't say no to that. So I got all three of these for 65 bucks, uh, 2011, a 2020, and another 2011. And they're in good shape. They have a little bit of toning, but uh, I don't mind that. I don't even mind a little milk, like you see there at, uh, at less than 22 bucks. Yeah, these definitely got added to the stack uh, simply because of the price for sure. Picked up 2024 Kookaburra. And y'all have seen most of these in separate videos, but this is kind of where you get to see them all together. 
I got that from SD Bullion. I got this 1991 Kookaburra. I didn't have one of those before. I got that from one of my LCSs here in town. Shout out to my Spicy McChicken boys over at Gold and Silver Traders. Got this 2024 Dragon. Picked that up from uh, SD Bullion as well. Picked up a 2024 Maple. Didn't have one of those in my stack yet. I had to get one of those. SD Bullion there. Also, this beautiful Britannia Liberty piece here. You got Lady Britannia on that side, Lady Liberty on this side. She's holding her torch. She's holding the trident. Great compilation piece here. Just absolutely love this. So got that from SD Bullion also. What is this? 2024. I did pick up a 2024 Eagle. I got this at a quarterly coin show they do here in Houston. It's super small, um, but that was the first time I had the chance to get them. So I got those there. I also picked up a, a couple of Buffaloes here. Now these Buffaloes, I know I say I don't do trades, but uh, I've actually done two during the month of February. This one I traded with Adam Hartman. It was an ounce for ounce trade. I had something he wanted, a 10 one ounce bars in a pack. So he sent me two five ounce pieces and he sent me these to do the trade because uh, I didn't really have any benefit. They were stuff I was going to sell, so I was just trading one thing to sell for another thing to sell. So he threw this in for my trouble. So Adam Hartman, you have a, now have a place in my perma stack because free silver always goes in my perma stack. Always, always, always. All right, this beautifully amazing piece. Some of you are probably upset with me about this. This is the 2023 Derpa. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it is. I know it's some badass chick on a lion and the details on it are flawless as you can see there's a crap ton of detail and i asked second chance stacks to rip up the coa and she did that and sent it in my package anyway just to piss people off because i don't keep the paper y'all i'm not the cardboard type i'm not the paper type i just i stack my silver and i go on about my business all right last but certainly not least well not last either but uh this amazing piece i got this from mlzb this is one troy ounce i don't know it says number 39 now i don't know if there there's different ones of these i hear people saying they want the set so maybe y'all can tell me in chat is this like one of a set of three is this a different one i honestly don't really know looks like reckless metals poured this reckless metals is is he, he's come in this community with a with a bang hadn't he he's like he's rocking and rolling everywhere i guess i shouldn't have these in here because i'm not adding these to my stack these are going in my giveaway stack all these fun little things i found coin roll hunting i just give all that kind of stuff away I don't know that it needs to be in this bucket, but we can move that aside. But the stuff that does need to be in this bucket are, first of all, these two walkers, 1942 and 1944. Found those coin roll hunting. Cannot be mad at walkers in the boxes. And I picked up three 1964s. So three 90% 1964 Kennedys. One of them is super shiny. The other two are still in pretty good shape. I lied. I picked up six. I picked up six 1964 90%ers. So a total of two ounces of those, almost an ounce of walkers. And then last, but certainly not least, I picked up, find out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, looks like 24 40 percenters. So about three and a half ounces. Oh, that's three more. So 27, almost four ounces on the 40 percenters. So all of these will also be going in the stack. Everything you see here is going in the stack and you guys know the rules. Once it goes in the stack, it never goes back. I'll be adding these to my January total, keeping everything separate. It's already March 12th as I'm, no, it's March 14th. It's Pi Day as I'm recording this and I haven't added anything in my stack in March yet. So uh, March video is looking like it's probably not going to make it to the mirror train because it's going to be super, super short. All right. So February total, I added 30.88744 ounces. That brings my year to date. As you can see, I did three times as much in February as I did in January. So my year to date is 40 ounces, 0.18. 328, bringing my full stack total to 1,451.887456. Brings my dollar cost average to 22.16, which is down 15 cents uh, just since last month. So there you are, my February totals. Appreciate you guys being here. I'm not 100% sure this will make it, but if you see editing on this video, this will be a video that I may be having my son edit for me. We're trying to work out an arrangement where he can help with some editing uh, because he's got a little more time and experience in this sort of thing. So this might be the first one so if you saw some cool editing stuff here uh, just know that that's my 16 year old son 
um, who has his own uh, channel for gaming and does a lot of editing and things like that. So employing him to help me out here. But all in all, I appreciate you guys being here. I appreciate y'all coming to hang out. Love you guys so much. Let's go on to Gold Sniping Farmer. And don't forget, after Angel today on Mrs. Coin Crew, we're headed over to the St. Jude Charity Auction. So see y'all there. Do not worry about fitting in when you get there because we are all mad here.